Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new GB Vice video. Now on the 3rd of January, four days from the release of today's video, we had a new update to GB Vice. Once again, another little update to the beta and we're on to beta 21C as of right now. And today's video is just a quick look and showing off some of the physics. You can see in the background there will be uh, I think four different mods, four different tracks, just kind of trying to give a, a broad approach to the new beta. I'm just giving my feedback on it, giving you the pros and cons of it, and just kind of talking about the state of the game at the moment, as I've done pretty much with all the betas that I've been around for since I jumped on this game about two years ago at this point. Now, beta 21C seemingly is one of the better betas I've been around for. Um, personally, I enjoy it. It's gone very much back to beta 20 feeling in a lot of the mods. Um, from, from what I've been told, it's more Pavos has gone backwards to that beta and then added on everything that he's managed to fix and works well. So it's it's kind of like a beta 20F or E, whatever the ending of that was. So it was kind of a one step forward to kind of make a step, one step backwards to go a step forward in a way to, to make the game better. But in fairness, everything I've rode seems much better. A lot of the tank slappers, uh, the weird just kind of wobbles into the corners, they've all gone for for whatever reason so we have again like i said kind of a half step back to something a bit older maybe a little backwards in terms of game development but in terms of enjoyment and writability and player numbers it's it hasn't been as this popular for a while so um, as you see on screen we have basically four mods on screen i'll have the name and a mod and a, a link to them all in the description too if you want to download them but uh, kind of a range of different bikes different motors different track types some of them smoother a bit more rough in, in terms of you'll see them in a brand hatch for a bit more of a different style of track and it's just again just going to prove that different mods different tracks and they all seem to be working very well in this beta which is brilliant because uh, pretty much all of beta 21 so far the game has been a bit hit or miss a um, couple of mods worked a couple of mods have been kind of keeping the game afloat and even at that if you didn't like that mod like a lot of people didn't like the uh, the r6 the british super sport r6 which on beta 21 was probably the only bike that really worked consistently um so a lot of the mods such as spk 22 javi's mod is kind of back in it in my sweet spot that is also being updated soon he uh, told me he was in my stream the other night and he mentioned that there's a couple of updates coming to that so i look forward to seeing that in due course from javi as well uh, VS's, VS Masters MotoGP09 mod seems to be working quite well as on this year. I think um, I've done a few laps in that. Uh, Haret also for the video as well as just my own time as well and it felt pretty decent. Whereas on beta 21, just the previous versions of this beta, um, his mods had a lot of issues. And again, a lot of issues come from the beta and a lot of P the models are trying to work around it. But when the beta that they're working with is, is kind of flawed and is, isn't the right direction overall it's kind of hard to develop it. a lot of modders stopped kind of updating or just stopped touching the mod because there was no point when they all believed that the the current beta they had was gone in the wrong direction and there was too many things broken for them to try and make their mod work in it so a lot of people kind of gave up on the game which was a shame but at this point now it looks like the game is back to its best i think you can see by the title of the video is it back to its best it kind of is um, again, I haven't spent hours and hours on it. You can see by the lack of videos on the channel at the moment that I'm very, very busy. Um, I played a lot of it on stream Friday night. A couple of mods. I think I only did Superbikes maybe... No, yeah, I only did Superbikes on Friday, but uh, yesterday evening, Saturday night, I did a, a bit of everything. And then again, for this video, just recorded a couple of different mods, a couple of different tracks, just to, just to kind of make sure that what everyone was saying was kind of true, that all pretty much all the the current mods are working quite well and again just the vary of tracks as well just to make it a bit more fair to kind of show off that the game is at a, in a good place but pretty much that's a big chunk of the game back for everyone because for a long period of time a lot of people just weren't playing it if you really like the r6 the bssp the british super sport one that kind of was enough for people a lot of people didn't like that for the kind of the way it entered the corner with the sliding and all that and the it just wasn't for everyone and i can understand that like there's a lot of mods even in this video some mods i like more than others and um the fact that you now we have a lot more variability once again what mods you can kind of pick and choose what you want to play and you can really change the game up and it's give a lot of playability back to the game which is something that we've been missing for uh six months now since really i think it was around august of last year we went to beta 21 which has caused a lot of issues and we were kind of hoping that all the mods would get patched and updated but the more and more we kind of learned about beta 21 it wasn't seeming possible a lot of people weren't um going up the, the mods at all and just kind of wait for Poboso to basically 
either go back or to update it even more to get to a point where it was worth working on so um, that was a shame obviously and we kind of lost a good six months of the game and in terms of league racing and videos on the game it's been very very kind of dry for a while obviously towards the end of the year we did the little motor gp sprint championship on manu's gp mod that mod was okay on it had a lot of issues still but for the most part you could kind of get around of it and it was it was just enough where you could probably ride it and um, you probably see most of my streams when i jump on and when the track especially was green with no rubber on the mod was really really annoying to ride uh, loads of issues loads of just stupid things happening and very gp gp bikes you could say but um, from my testing of the current one, um, the current beta, it seems much better even on the kind of green track. So it looks like pretty much everyone's mod has made a step back to where it should be and it's a lot more enjoyable. But um, going forward as well, I think leagues will be a lot more present in the game again now because we have this um, step up in performance in the game. I haven't seen so many lobbies, people on the game in a long time as I have since Wednesday. And the few like, anytime I'm on a PC, I kind of just have a quick look on this, the servers just to see what's up. And um, multiple times I go on, and there's like multiple lobbies with more than five people in there, which is just unheard. Like, that's rare in GP bikes in general, but like as of beta 21, that's unheard of. Um, you might have the odd lobby with plus five people, but that'll be like one a week maybe. Whereas now it seems nearly every night does a, a good lash of people on, which is just good overall for the game because. We all kind of missed playing it and again it looks like we have the like i said we have different mods now we can play there's a lot more we can do with the game because you end up doing the same things over and over again the game's getting repetitive obviously we did the the motor america revamped as well last year and the, the first person that was decent again but it was it's just like that was the only mod we could kind of ride the time so that was really limiting because i know mose made that league uh was going to be on the super bikes i think we we're all gonna be on v4rs for that but um, a couple of us just said it wasn't feasible with the current state of the game and we ended up on the R6. It would actually probably have been a lot more fun on the V4 but um, just the game wasn't able for the time and again I think coming in now to almost the middle of January, first week of January down, we're definitely going to see a lot more content available just for the game just for the fact we can do so much more with it so it's pretty exciting and um, that's pretty much it for the beta. If you have tried out yourself let me know in the comments what you think of it. From what I've seen from the community everyone thinks it's a step forward. Um, I've seen pretty much everyone say it's a big step up and everyone seems a lot more happy than previous betas. Also, if you are a long time viewer who've never picked this game up and you're interested but you were kind of worried about the beta 21, this would be the perfect time to get it because the game now is probably the most active it's been. Um, a lot of modders seem to have maybe come back to the game now that they have a chance of doing some decent work on it. And again, lots of mods, lots of different kind of possibilities to play. So the game is in a real ripe spot. I've seen a lot of people in my own Discord and other Discord saying that I got the game just as they switched to beta 21 and it just never was as good as I thought it would be after seeing your videos, such and such. And again, a lot of people saying that it's an amazing step from B21, B to C. So it's uh, it's good to see just because, again, I always bang on about the, how brilliant this game is and how uh, how much fun it is with VR, with just the, the physics and stuff like that. So, in fact, we're back to a point now where we can actually race um, somewhat cleanly and competitively and maybe have some more leagues. And just in general, the game is just so much more enjoyable at the moment. And again, the fact it's widely across the board, everyone seems to agree to this, is it's hard to do, obviously, get everyone to agree on something. But uh, the game is back to somewhere near its best. I don't know, again, there's some small tweaks from B to C on this beta so the game isn't back to what it was we'll say six seven months ago it is slightly different so maybe not everyone will love it as much but I think it's most mods are perfectly rideable and um, I don't really feel a lot of the, the GP bikes moments are as present as they were which is a, a massive step forward because that, to be fair the GP bikes moments is what kind of ruins the game is just the, the weird pinging out of a corner when you change direction or there's some weird like stoppy when you didn't expect it or just the, the weirdness of the game that it can have when it's uh, um, acting up but it looks like it's calmed down at the moment so definitely best time to get onto the game if you haven't before but anyway I'm going to leave there hope you have enjoyed let me know yourself what you think of the current beta and I shall see you hopefully on a track sometime soon thank you all for watching see you in the next one slog of all